Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're going to make seasoned tater tots and wedgie fries for the freezer. Hey friends, now what we're going to make is wedgie fries and tater tots. And to start off, we need to get our potatoes peeled and sliced. Now you don't have to peel your potatoes if you don't want to, but I like mine peeled and I also have pigs that enjoy the peels in their feet. And since I have that 50 pounds of potatoes, I'm going to have a lot of peels to share with my pigs. What I've got here is a common apple slicer. And what we're going to do with that is we're just going to take it and what this does is it slices. There's your piece that you're going to cut up and use for tater tots. And here's our wedgies for our fries. So this makes it much, much easier to peel. If you don't have an apple peeler and you don't you don't mind eating your potato peels, that's fine. But this apple peeler is the one I use to peel and slice apples. And all you have to do is take this part down. This is the part that cores and slices. You take that down and you'll get just a plain peeler. So what we have here is, is uh, 12 pounds of potatoes. And these are the peels and the ends from those 12 pounds of potatoes. And I'm just going to drain the starchy water off of these into um, the bowl or into the... Woo! I'm going to lose some of my potatoes there. Uh, into this pot and I'm going to put it on the wood stove with a lid on it and this will be in the pig's feed for tomorrow. Okay, now we want to dry our potatoes. They've been rinsed and draining in the sink. Now you know me folks, I'm a great one for keeping old cotton tablecloths and this is a really good thing to have for this big of a job. Um, it's folded in four. My potatoes are rinsed and draining, and we're going to dry them, because if you don't dry them, the oil won't stick to them. Let's get our wedgies out here. And all I'm going to do is dump them on here, and just kind of roll them around on the cloth. You want to get as much of the water off, like you let them drain for a good 10-20 minutes, but you want to get, and yes folks, this is a clean tablecloth, of course, it came right out of the drawer. Anyway. You want as much of the water off of these as possible. Now what we're going to do, now this is about 12 pounds of potatoes, and I'm going to sprinkle on about two tablespoons of oil, maybe three. I'm just going to mix the oil in there. I'm not going to get my hands in there just yet. In the old spice grinder, we're going to put some parsley. There's some Italian seasoning. This is minced garlic or flaked garlic. Just a wee pinch of cayenne. Not much, unless you like them spicy. A little bit of paprika. Now, because I put cayenne and paprika, I'm not going to put pepper. Besides, Papa always adds pepper anyway. But I am going to use a little bit of coarse pickling salt. And remember, coarse pickling salt, at least this coarse pickling salt, has no additives. And we're just going to always wait for your spices to settle before you open that. Well, that's a lovely color. So we're just going to throw this all on here. And the finer the spices are, folks, the better they stick. All right, let's just give these a stir. You only need enough olive oil to coat the potatoes and help the spices to stick. There we go, that looks pretty evenly coated, don't you think? Now I have my big cookie sheet lined with tin foil. And I'm just going to dump these on here. I think 12 pounds might have been a bit too much. I think I'm gonna get another tray. Now you want these fairly spread out, fairly even, so that they get a chance to partially cook all the way around. I've got my oven racks pretty close together, and I'm going to pop these 
in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Because like I said, we don't want them to cook all the way through. And there we go. I'm going to get these in the oven and then we're going to work on the tater tots. Now the centers of our potatoes are quite dry. So I'm not worried about um, patting them down too much. And I'm just going to take these centers and I'm going to cut them up into tater tot sizes. Now I'm not going to season these like I did the wedgie fries. Oh, there's a wedgie fry. How'd you get in there? Oh, well, you're a tater tot now. Um, I'm not going to season these the same way because I, I like these more for a breakfast thing. Okay, so here we have, I don't know, about two pounds of tater tots. And I'm just going to coat in a little bit of sunflower oil, a little bit of pepper, just a little bit. Because these are, like I said, these are more of a breakfast thing. And you don't want seasoned wedgie fries all the time either. A little bit of coarse salt, some parsley. And toss. Now my uh, wedgie fries are in the oven and I have them on two different racks so about 10 minutes in I'm just going to switch them so that they're a little more even in cooking. All right so I've got these out of the oven and I'm just going to check that they're getting a little soft so I just want to turn them. And you preferably want to do this before they stick to the foil but we just want to give them a little turn and a stir so that not, nothing sticks. And we're going to give them another five minutes. Then I'm going to take them out and I'm just going to let them cool. And let's have a look at these. Now if you can cut them in half but they're still firm, then they're ready. Oh yeah, those are ready. And I just thought, I'm going to put these out in my porch because it's, you know, minus 10 today. So I'm going to put these out in the porch and let them cool that way. Here we go. Putting them in the porch worked really, really well because they're nice and cold. They're not frozen, but they're nice and cold. I'm going to fill up dinner size bags, dinner or two, depending on you know how many people are here, and uh, pop these in the freezer. Well, there it is, folks. We got five bags of seasoned wedgie fries, and when those tater tots cool, they will make one more bag of tater tots. So, so far out of two bags of potatoes or two bags and a bit, I've gotten uh, 10, 12 bags of potatoes. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying just because it's winter, it doesn't mean you can't stock up. Bye-bye.